Um, three out of four of us uh, feel like we need to come back in. All four leaders agree the governor's actions were wrong, but not all of them agree on coming back for a special executive session. And in my opinion, at the end of the day, House Republicans are not going to support a special session, and this conversation is going to be done. House Republican Ken Verdett also expressed his concern with the reasoning behind coming back into session. We can only censure our own members, can expel our own members, but we can't do that to a third separate branch of governor, uh, government, which is the governor. Right now, there is a significant difference in uh, everybody's opinion as to well, how the process and would it even work. Senate President Mike Thibodeau says if there's a question presented for a poll to come back into session, the exact wording, like for what reason and for how long, is essential. That is very, very important. My members want to know what they're voting and agreeing to come back for. Although Fredette believes they cannot censure the governor, Thibodeau believes otherwise. I know there are some votes for coming back for a censure. I'm not going to speculate on how many. As for the Democrats, there's no question about coming back into session. Democrats have been very strong and clear from the beginning that there are only two acceptable things, resignation or removal. We're talking about our governor who has become unhinged. He threatened a sitting legislator. He wants to kill a sitting legislator. I would never tell my 11-year-old what he said. If that doesn't wake you up, if that doesn't wake Ken Fredette up and the House Republicans, I don't know what does. While it's unclear where this may go, even within the next 24 hours, what is clear is that this process is far from over. In Augusta tonight, Morgan Sturdivant, WTW News 8.